bash. It can look absolutely gorgeous or ugly. And some people are like, I don't have time to make it look as good as you do, Titus. And today you do because you're watching this video and it will take you literally seconds to just type two commands in and make your ugly bash turn into something magical. So I, I have a bash script that sets bash up for you. Uh, let's get on the desktop and go into it because man, I worked hard on this and I really wanted people, those bash users out there to have a beautiful terminal. So here on our desktop, this is just a blanket desktop I use. Uh, we're gonna pull up the terminal. You know, we can just do a control alt T, pull it up and you have this ugly standard terminal, which is fine, but it'd be so much nicer if we had something kind of like this or like that. That's pretty cool, right? Look at that. Look at that beautiful terminal. Must go bigger, yes. Oh, it's glorious. You look so good. And now we're gonna make the other one look just as good as this one. Wait a second. That's not Linux, that's PowerShell. I'm sorry, that's gonna be next Monday's video. All right, there we go, that's better. And we're back to this old Linux Mint console with a KDE kind of style to it. Uh, let's uh, let's make this look good. First up, a couple dependencies. We're gonna just do an apt install of Git. We'll clear that out. Um, usually I make like a build directory for my GitHub repositories or maybe like just GitHub. And that way all my GitHub projects are in one spot. You don't have to do this step if you don't want. And then we just clone my bash repo. And that's just github.com, Chris Titus Tech, my bash. That's it. Super easy, right? Uh, so we just come into here and then let's take a peek at our script before we run it because you should never just trust some random YouTube guy on the internet before running a script on your system. You should take a look at the script and see what you can see. First up, we set the actual directory to the current directory. It goes and installs Starship, which most people know Starship. However, we're using a heavily themed version of Starship. And then it does a symbolic link between the bash RC and this folder and your home folder. So if you already have a bash RC, you're probably gonna wipe that out. Uh, also, it sets the Starship TOML file in your .config folder. So we could actually change this and remove these or just change them into copy commands if you don't care about any updates I do to this script and you just kind of want to make it your own. By all means, I encourage you. And then it installs a program I use all the time called Auto Jump, which is just like J GitHub, and it would jump to that. Obviously, we don't even have that installed, uh, but it's going to fix all that. So let's clear it, and then we're going to run the script and see what we get. First up, we're going to have a couple Starship setup questions. Do you want to install the latest? Yes. Okay, man. It looks like it just went out and did everything. However, there was an error right here. The bash RC file already existed, so we might need to run this again. And everything else here looks pretty good. So let's uh, go ahead and remove our bash RC file. And we'll just rerun the setup. Uh, we don't need to set up Starship again. We're just going to redo that. So now if we go into our home folder, do a long listing, you should see like bash RC up here referencing right there. That's all the script does in the background. If you do run into that one error, just delete your bash RC file. I guess I could write in the script to delete your current bash RC file, but uh, I just hate to remove something. If you're already doing something, you can just move it. I, I kind of want you to do these things because you should be taking your own customizations and adding them to my customizations. That way you have your perfect setup, not my perfect setup. So we have everything in here. Let's close out of our prompt and then relaunch. Ooh, okay, looking better. Oh, but we got some symbol errors. Like if we go to GitHub, uh, or actually we could just jump to GitHub. Ah, oh, so much better, right? So if you're back here and you wanna just jump like two subdirectories in, you now have the auto jump command. Super cool for any bash users out there. And we could just do like my bash. And then it's like, oh, okay. Uh, but if you've never gone there, it doesn't know. So if you go J, my bash again, Ah, now it sees the directory. So it only remembers your history. So once you go into a subdirectory, auto jump will always remember that. So then you can just jump to wherever you need to go with the J button. Enough with auto jump. Now let's fix some of these icons. As you see, they're kind of ugly. 
and we need to change that. So we're going to change our current profile in our terminal. If you're using like Kitty or any other or, uh, Alacrity or whatever it might be, you need to change your font. So we'll go to appearance. Oh, it's the hack font. Well, that's going to be a problem. Uh, here's a nerd font, Meslo. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Bam. Nerd fonts always do better. I know like the Cove font is another really cool nerd font. Uh, pretty much any nerd font's going to make it look just gorgeous. That's why like when you come over to like the Windows version, this isn't using the Meslo font. This one right here is looking at this. This is a consulus, but it actually uses this Cascade Cove font. That's really the best font that gives a lot of really cool ones. So the, pretty much all the nerd fonts have these really cool icons associated with them, which can make for a really cool looking system. But I digress. We're back here. If you don't have those nerd fonts, though, you need to go grab those. So the easiest way to do this is let's just pull up your browser from Google. You just go download nerd fonts and then downloads. And then what you can do is just grab whatever one you want. There's the one that I was using on the Windows PowerShell one. A Meslo is my, probably my top favorite one. I love it. Uh, Fire a Code's a pretty close one. And then the Cove one is another one I use on occasion. I don't like like the Hack Nerd font that much. And some of these other ones, it just depends on your personal preference here. Very, very personal on this. But always be using a Nerd font in Terminal. I can't emphasize that enough. So we'll grab this Meslo font and we're just going to go save as and just save it in like downloads. And if we go into downloads, take a look, we can just do an unzip of Meslo. It unzips all of them right here. And then uh, we could do a bunch of different ways to install fonts. I'm going to show you the way that's universal. And since you're using Bash and this is a Bash tutorial, we're obviously not going to get in the GUI and do this. Uh, so probably the easy way is let's just remove that zip file, remove Meslo. All right. And then we have all these other files. And if we look at like the LS of all this, all of it is just a license and a readme and TTF files. So the easy way to do this is just make directory dot fonts. And then we just move everything, move star. That's everything in our downloads directory. So if you have other stuff in your downloads directory, don't do this. It's going to move it all to, to the fonts directory, which it's not what you want. So now we have that, nothing's in downloads. And if we CD over into our dot fonts and we do a listing, we have all the mess low. So now all we have to do is like reload our cache, FC dash cache, and then verbose to see what it's doing. And then F for force, just because I like forcing things. <laughs> so now we have all that. We're looking so beautiful. We can close out of this, relaunch one more time into our terminal, pull up our profile, look at our appearance, change the font and oh my goodness we have a lot more Meslo fonts all of them are really good you can switch between whatever one you want here if we wanted a more terminal-esque one typically the motto fonts would be better my personal favorite is the lgs nerd font mono i think this was a probably the best looking one uh but you see it kind of gives a little slant a little more cool feel to it uh, but again very personal i wanted to show that uh, version of it and you have an absolute gorgeous font.